Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings. And today I'm going to do something completely different from what I've done before. Have you ever taken one idea and expanded on it? Or one uh, object and to see how many times you can use it in different ways? Well, this time I'm going to take the lowly circle, the never-ending line, and we will work with the circles. And I'm going to show different ways that you can use a circle. Now, some of these you will not like. At least some of them I don't like. But then there's a couple of these that I have made, that I'm making that I really do like. So uh, I'd be interested in knowing which ones you like and which ones you don't. But here I have my circles in a baggie, and that's how I keep them. So I make sure I have all of them with me, uh, and I don't lose any. So you see here, I'll be basically working with four different sizes. And so uh, we will see how many different ways we can use circles. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is pick me out a few colors out of my new um, Sharpie uh, collection. I got these for Christmas, so we're gonna use these today. At least we're going to start with you with these. Now I have my uh, die cuts here, my circles, and I could take my die cuts and cut a piece of cardstock and make holes in it and make me a template. But I'm going directly to the die cut and make my circle. I'm opening up my card so that I don't have to worry about the back half of my uh, greeting card. And it would be flat on the table. So let's take this green and I'm gonna hold my die cut in place and I will go around the edges here and hopefully I can make a complete circle without going outside. Now I'm gonna put them in specs so I can see my circles a little better. If you notice, I kind of went on the inside, which is fine. And there was a little area on my um, die cut that has a rough spot. So that was why I got a little bump in my uh, circle. But we should be able to fix this uh, before the day is out and uh, you probably won't even notice. As I make this card, I will be skipping a lot through it, but it is only to give you an idea of what you can do with these circles. So let's get a couple more uh, dies out and um, see what colors we're gonna use. I always try to have at least one or two things running up the edge of the page. I like the way that looks when you have a page of uh, objects like this. It makes it look like it's part of a, another sheet and not one by, just by itself. Now, if you'll notice, I'm doing the circle here next to the uh, spine of the card. And I will not be going to the back. I'm going to stop it right along the spine. So that's why I've got a straight line here.
Okay, the front of my card is pretty much finished. And the only thing it has is circles. But it's quite interesting. It gives you an interesting front. Now, look on the back. It came through. So the solution to that is to take another piece of cardstock. I'm just using this one that hasn't been cut yet to give you the idea. I want to cut a piece of uh, cardstock the same size as the uh, front of the card. And I want to put it over top of it. And that'll make the inside look as nice as the outside. So I'll be cutting down this seam. Before I do that though, I want to stamp on the front of my card. Uh, in case there's any ink that goes through, it'll be covered up by my extra piece of cardstock on the inside. So let me get my stamp and my ink pad. I'm going to use Memento's Black Tuxedo. I found it hard trying to find a stamp that would go over the um, circle the exact uh, size, but I think this one will do. It'll give you the uh, idea of what I uh, wanted here. I'm going to stamp it. It says smile and be happy. That's right, cute. I can't put it on the dark green because it's not going to show up unless I use white ink, but I think I will put it again on the green circle. Okay, now the front is finished. I will fix the inside of this card in a few minutes. Before I fix the inside of that card, I'm going to start the next card. I'm going to put away my die cuts for right now because I don't need them. And they go into my bag, so they're all together. Next, I have some that I have already cut, some circles, that is. And they're all different sizes and all different kinds here. And what I'm going to do here is basically the same thing, except instead of painting or coloring circles in, I'm going to be using some die cuts that I made. And these are just solid die cuts, the same idea as with the uh, first card. Now I have skipped over to where I'm just about finished gluing my little circles on. And this card is pretty much similar to the other one. As I said, the difference is one was uh, colored in and the other one was was using die cuts. Now I'm going to go back and take a second and put the inside of my first card in so that uh, it won't look bad behind it. And I'm, what I'm doing is just gluing that piece of four and a fourth by five and a half piece of cardstock in behind the first, the front of the card. I'm using. Um, a glue stick, and this is a Scotch a Create glue stick. I highly recommend it if you're going to use a glue stick on anything and you really want it to stick. If you notice, I am putting the card that, that I'm adding on the back with the glue on the top. And that way, when I close it up, it will match. I'm just writing a couple of words on the front. 
I don't have a very good handwriting, so I'm just going to put a couple of simple words uh, just to fill in the circles a little bit. Now don't go away because I have some additional cards I want to make and they will uh, have a little more personality, shall we say. I found these uh, circles that I had made from uh, a coloring, and it wasn't a coloring book, but it was a, a, a design and you were to color the different pieces. And I didn't want to take time to do that, so I thought I'd cut up circles and see what I could do with that. Uh, again, they could be colored, but I like them like they are. I think it gives uh, the card a little more interesting um, aspect. So let's see what we're going to do with them. I have four here, and I've got to use my blue mat. I don't have any of it glued down yet, so I want to um, see how I plan to use this here. First thing I am going to do, though, is glue down my mat. I now have my mat glued down. The size of my mat is four by five and a fourth because I've put it on a card that is four and a fourth by five and a half. I'm arranging my circles like I want them uh, and it looks like it's gonna be a uh, close call here. They just will fit on my card. In fact, I'm gonna to have to Kind of squeeze them together uh, a little bit so that they will fit. And I will finish putting glue on the back of them. I think having the circles uh, in a row with the largest one on top makes for an interesting front to this card. Now I'll be putting it aside for a while until I decide what kind of sentiment I want to use. So we now I have three cards pretty much done. So let's go to number four. For this card, I will be using a mat again. I'm trying to decide if I want to use a green or a blue mat. I think I'll probably go with the blue again. And this size of and the size of this mat is the same as the previous one, four and a by five and a fourth. I will quickly glue my mat to the front of my card again. I'm finding it hard to get the glue to come out of my container. But we have enough on it now to hold it, I think. We'll glue it down on the piece, the front of the card. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a circle here to get my placement. And I'm going to run the whole thing through the big shot. First, I'm going to open up the card and run it through the big shot and put my circle die and it, I want it placed right approximately there. I'm afraid I'm a little off camera, but there is the circle that I cut out with the big shot. And it's the size of these large circles that I have here. I'm just flipping through them to see which one I want to use uh, in my cutout.
I don't really see anything here in my uh, cut out circles, but I do remember seeing something in this pad of paper. Uh, there was some sunflowers in here and I think I'm gonna uh, cut me a circle of sunflowers and I will put that inside the circle. I'm gonna use my glue stick and um, I will put um, some glue in the back of my sunflower circle here and uh, we will place it inside. Now it will be glued to the white part of the cardstock and um, it will go all the way through so that it's actually on the inside. In other words, I have cut a circle all the way through the mat and the front of the card. Okay, here's my little peekaboo card with the sunflowers inside the circle. Now I need something to go on the front of the card along with it, and I want it to be sunflower related. So I found this uh, flower on the cover of one of my um, paper pads. So I just cut it out and put, I'm putting a little glue in the back now and we will see if that will look right. And it does. I have a container here that has uh, a few uh, words and sentiments and I'm gonna see if I can find something that will work. I thought about putting a butterfly up there while I was at it, but I don't think I like that, so I'm gonna go probably with something else. Uh, here's a little thing of words, and I think that will work, and I don't need the butterfly. I'm pleased with how that looks. So let's see what else we can do here. I have a, another one of those um, little banners with, with words on it. Um, I'm gonna use it and I think I'm gonna put it on this card um, that has four circles and that will help balance that out since I have the small circle on the bottom. So let's glue it in place. Now I have two more cards that are complete. Now this card will be a little different. I have a piece of uh, cardstock that it was printed and then I folded it and I colored the background a little bit with some distressing ink. And then I took a white piece of cardstock, opened it up and punched my holes with the same die cuts I had out before. And if you will notice, they're all different sizes. Now, look at the circles and notice that the circle does not go into the back uh, part of the card. 
you do not want your circle to go into the back layer. Uh, I've got this very close to the edge, but I want to make sure I have plenty of glue to hold it because it's not a very big piece of cardstock in the front, near the top and at the bottom. So I'm putting glue all around the circles and I will be placing the uh, piece of fold uh, cardstock and putting it inside the card. And I will be gluing it to the front. So when you open it up, you'll have a plain white background and the inside of the card will be white also. Make sure when you glue the front of the card that you have plenty of glue around the edges, especially in the small areas, like the area at the top and the bottom of this one. Uh, because there's not much there to hold on to the designer cardstock. I'm going to, in order to get it in there straight, I'm going to put the designer paper on the back. It's not glued yet because I have not put any glue on the designer paper at all. And then I'm going to flip it over and make sure all the little areas are covered. And I have to kind of stretch it to a degree because you've got a little play in um, size there. Because the cardstock that was um, fold was a little thicker than the other. So I have to kind of push on it and, and stretch that white to fit over the, the other. In fact, I may have to trim the designer paper just a little bit. But I think this makes a nice looking card. And it really wasn't uh, difficult to make. You just have to be careful on where you punch your holes. With this card, I'm probably going to go a little overboard because I'm going to add a few butterflies on here. Only because I have them here on my desk. But I thought that would just give it a little more personality and make it look more like flowers instead of circles, since they are decorative circles. Okay, I have one more butterfly, and then this card will be finished. So we'll put him right up here and stick him down. I hope you like this card. I really do. This is... I believe this is my favorite of the ones I have done today. Now let's see what else we have here. Oh, in my little box, I found this little heart. It is a uh, little pearl heart. And I bet you do like I do. When you find something that you didn't know was there or something that was on your desk, that you find a place to put it. So I think I'm going to add go back to one of my cards and uh, add it on one of the banners. So let's see which one. I kind of like this one. So I'm going to put this little heart right on the tip of the banner. It's always fun to add a little bling to your card. Okay, let's recap what we have done today. We made a, a card with a peekaboo where sunflowers are going through it. We made a card where you actually color the circles on, and then you, one where you glue the circles themselves. And then, of course, the one that uh, had all the multi-circles with the foiling. And then I have another one here that I did previously, but I didn't actually put it on the card. And that's what I'm getting ready to do now. And this was entirely different, but it still deals with circles. So I'm gonna put just a little glue on here and uh, I'll show it to you. Okay, this was 
uh, another card that I had made. And it was done with a white pen that I got recently. These were fun to make, and I tried to make them uh, as different as possible, but using the same theme, the circle, or the never-ending line. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please come back and see me again and see what I have in store for you for next time. In the meantime, please subscribe and have a great crafting day. Bye.